Stephanie, when we met, I could not have been more confused about what I wanted. I had been searching for the right partner to love for the longest time, while simultaneously being completely closed off to actually experiencing love. He showed me that love means more than just the scary parts I was avoiding. Now, love certainly is scary, and it hurts, and it's hard, but I also realize that it's incredible. It's exciting, fulfilling, and most of all, worth it. Christian, you've taught me that to really love someone is to find the parts of themselves that they work so hard to hide and teach them what it looks like to love those parts just as much as the rest of them. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Thank you to my parents. <laughs> uh, yeah. Everything you do for me just means the world, and I hope you know that. You look beautiful, young lady. Of course, I'm not surprised. Thank you so much. Thank you very much to my family for being here, uh, to my mother, to my father, to my stepmother, and to the entire extended family for being here, for supporting me, and, and for welcoming Stephanie into our family. For those that you don't know, Christian and Steph met in the most romantic of all places, the internet. Christian said that he wanted to take Steph on a date because they had great conversation and could tell that they had a similar sense of humor. Stephanie went on a date with Christian because, and I quote, he had a cool car and why not? <laughs> and the date, well, it was amazing, full of great conversations, lots of laughs, a ride in a cool car, and the attitude of why not. In all my life, one of my biggest prayers has always been who my baby sister would marry and spend her life with. Stephanie and I have a connection and I knew she had met her match. And the first time I met him, I could totally see why. He's so easy to be around, he's outgoing, and easy to make conversation with, and pretty funny. His go-getter attitude taught me that you can learn anything if you put your mind to it. He doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve. It walks all around him, all around us, in each of you, the people he loves. And for him, his love for those people is more real and sympathetic than anyone else's I know. Incredible. Can I kiss you? Or yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you this is phenomenal. This is a great dress. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> a friend once told me that a relationship and a partnership is like flying a kite. The string has to be a steady hand, and the partner who's holding the string is letting the kite fly yet also helping guide the kite along the journey. And then your roles switch to give your partner a chance to fly. So the best advice I can give you both is to lift each other up, love each other unconditionally, and with a sense of humor and a steady hand, keep taking turns letting the other fly. To you, I vow, I will appreciate the ways that you are the polar opposite of me, and there are many of them. And I vow that they will always be opportunities to learn more about you and to teach myself how to be a better version of myself. You're the same in all the right ways, and you fill in one another's gaps in the others. You two are a beautiful example of love, and I truly admire the respect, loyalty, and devotion you have for one another. Steph, I don't know how you came to exist, but you really are Christian's dream woman. You're a redhead. You could wrestle an alligator to death. You tolerate Christian's obsession with forcing people into heart-to-heart -heart conversations at inopportune moments. They are the same on important passions, 
their viewpoints on life, their sense of humor, their desire for adventure, their love for each other, most importantly. I've learned that I'm very blessed to be with such a rare person, the type of person who shows kindness, patience, and a fierce love for the people around her. I love you, sweetheart. Let's do this. I, Christian. Take you, Stephanie. Take you, Stephanie. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. I, Stephanie, take you, Christian. To be my lawfully wedded husband. I take you just as you are, and in every form that you may ever be. I promise to reach for your hand when I am lost. And cherish you as my closest friend. And cherish you as my closest friend. I promise to show you day in and day out. Day in and day out. That you are my everything. That you are my everything. On this day, I give you my heart. And now, by the power vested in me because I am wearing a power suit, <laughs> I now pronounce Stephanie and Christian, husband and wife, you may now kiss your wife. Could it be, could it be proof that we are mirrors of Anytime my mom would leave on a business trip, Christian would invite his 50 plus friends to throw Gatsby esque soirees at her house. Christian, if you haven't noticed, you've hit the jackpot, my son. Welcome to our family. We love you both and are praying for a lifetime of love, happiness, health, wealth, and dear God, please hear me when I say babies. We're going to face a lot of challenges and the world will push us to our limits. And just when we think we've had enough and when we can't handle much more, you'll look at me and I'll look at you and we'll remember what we promised to each other today. I will love you through it all. I will love you till the wheels fall off. Thank you for being my husband and I'm so proud to be your wife. <laughs> I love you.